I'm Faye, and this is my dad, Scott. Thanks for stopping by the Dog Outdoors. Today we're going to take a look at the Buddy Rider Dog Bike Seat. Thanks, Faye. We're really excited to be carrying the Buddy Rider. Um, you know, for years we've carried dog bike leashes for the medium to larger dogs to bike with you, um, bike trailers that go on the back for dogs of all sizes, but the, the Buddy Rider allows your dog, the smaller dogs, up from 5 to 25 pounds to sit right up front with you, be where the action is, and um, it mounts in such a way that it's a really stable ride. So it's really secure, stable for your dog, and they get to sit right up front with you. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the Buddy Rider. You can see the material that it's made out of, very sturdy. This is the same stuff that the um, high-end child bicycle seats are made out of. Um, it's, it's really on there well and it's not gonna not gonna move um, it's centered over the the center of your bike which gives you a ton of stability compared to those bike baskets that hang off the front and it also allows you to get um, a larger size dog in there without any sagging or anything like that you can see it comes with the harness adjustable harness that is going to completely secure your dog down um, there is an optional booster seat for the really little guys. Uh, you can find out more information about that on the product page. And let's let's come around here and take a look at how this connects. So there's a, a it comes with four bolts and an included Allen wrench that just you just crank it down onto your uh, seat post here. You need about looks like about an inch and a half or so of height under your seat. And then the convenient thing is that it's a, a pin that you can just pull this out and the entire um, seat will slide off. I'm oh, sorry, I actually have to remove the pin first, don't I? It's probably about time for me to get a new bike seat as well, but this just slides right off. And this can stay on. Uh, you can get an additional connector and have one on another bike if you want, the, the connector down here under the seat post. So you could just move this from one bike to, uh, to the next very easily. Um, you can see that uh, the, when you first install it, I'm going to show a little bit more about this on our installation video. You can move this uh, back or forward depending on the, the room you need and the clearance you need for your bike. Okay, I've got Brinkley here to help demonstrate how to get your dog uh, adjusted to getting in the seat, how to make the harness adjustments, and um, I like to actually start by keeping it on the ground first so that your dog's going to be comfortable with it, you'll be comfortable, and in figuring out how to make the adjustments before you actually put it on the bike. Um, so let's take Brinkley and I'll show you how to, to get her in. All right, let's see if Brinkley will work with me. So I like to get the back paws in first. Come on, girl. Sit down. Sit down. There you go. Good girl. Front paws go like that. You could have your dog put your, their paws up here too. It's optional. Then you're gonna take the harness and these adjustments I'll show you how to make in the installation video um, in more detail, but you just hook it around and hook this one and then pull each of these straps tight to secure your dog from being able to hop out. And you can kind of tuck the straps back down here. And there you go. Okay, one last quick note about safety. So the most important um, thing to, to remember is when you're getting your dog in and out of the bike seat, this is the, the most crucial time to make sure that your bike is gonna be stable. So whatever you have to do to make sure of that, um, if it means that you have somebody help you to get the dog in and out, if you have maybe a wall on the other side of uh, you and the bike, um, obviously the kick stands down, uh, if you need to straddle the bike, whatever it is, make sure that the bike's stable when you're lifting them in and out because they might get a little squirmy, especially when you're first starting off. Thanks so much for watching.